All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Dragon Age Origins. And I guess I shouldn't say welcome back. Maybe it's just welcome for you. Maybe you've never seen me on the channel before. My name is Typo, and here on One Game, One Life, every character has one life, even if it's our own. If our main character dies, that is it. The run is over, and we either have to play a new game or make a new character. It's how I love playing video games. Even El even games like Elden Ring, which we're going to have to make another character sometime soon because we got pretty far, but <laughs> eventually our character died in Elden Ring. So we died in the Altus Plateau, I think is what it's called, and rest in peace. We're going to have to go back to that. But anyway, getting off track, Dragon Age Origins. The Dragon Age series is so good. Dragon Age 2 and Inquisition are games I have played once before um, when they were new and just came out, and I remember loving them. Dragon Age Origins, however, I have played three, maybe four times all the way through. Um, so, unlike most games I play on the channel, this game will be a lot less blind than those are. If you're new to the channel, I'm my memory is notoriously awful. I do not remember things very well. And I can usually play a game two or three times and still not remember what's going to happen if I wait long enough in between. However, Dragon Age Origins left an impact on me the first time I played it growing up, and that's why I've played it so many times. I will still not remember a lot of the side content, the dialogue, stuff like that, just by nature of how my brain is, but I will make no pretenses. I do remember the main story beats. The more I'm talking about it, the, the less I'm confident about that. But at least I, I think I know the main story beats of this game. So if you want a blind playthrough to watch, because that's what I prefer to watch personally, then this might not be the run for you. Maybe you can look up Togoff on YouTube. T-O-E-G-O-F-F. -F, a classic playthrough from back in like 2010. That was so good. But hopefully we can make a good playthrough here as well. I hope you join me. But I just wanted to be straight up up front. Um, I want to make like a whole canon, a whole like era of Dragon Age that we play out here. Where we play Dragon Age Origins and then we use what we did in that game to affect Dragon Age 2. And then what we've done in those two games to affect Dragon Age Inquisition. And hopefully 4 if we ever get a decent Dragon Age 4 to come out. We'll see about that. <laughs> But yeah, I'm massively looking forward to this. I roughly know what to expect, but I love this game. Okay, so wait, actually, Awakening, I've never played in my life. I know that sounds crazy for someone who's played Origins three or four times. Probably four. But I've actually only played like the first half an hour to an hour of Awakening as a kid. I remember booting it up and not liking it uh, right away for some reason. I, I don't even remember. I, it just didn't catch me and I, I never played it. Which is awful. I definitely need to play it. Which is what we'll be doing this time. So I am looking forward to that massively. That'll be blind content for me. Let's jump into it. <sighs> Alright, here we go. And so is the Golden City blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven, and doom upon all the world. Canticle of Threnodes 8.13 Here we go. Also on One Game, One Life, we always play, you know, every character the dies Chantry for good, but normal difficulty. But Sorry, go ahead. it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The dark spawn. The <laughs> dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall. This universe is so and cool. From the deep roads, Sorry. the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. Grey 
wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. And the graphics look decent for when the game came out. I mean, it's, 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 it's not amazing. Don't get ahead of me now. But it looks decent. Okay, so I've thought about, kind of, about what kind of character I want to run in each of the three games. Uh, usually on the channel we play anti-heroes or villains, because I really enjoy that side of um, media. Uh, you always see the good guys prevail. You always see the good guys' side of the story, you know what I mean? And I feel like it's an underexplored side of the story, the villains or the anti-heroes. Anti-heroes. You do get some anti-hero stories, but you rarely get where the villain is the protagonist. You know what I mean? And so I, I like being the bad guy if I can, and so for this playthrough I want to do that. However, in Dragon Age 2, I'm thinking more of maybe a neutral, like, <laughs> comedic, gray karma, kind of like Hawk, female Hawk, who's just humorous and funny. Kind of Han Solo-ish, maybe. And then in Dragon Age Inquisition, I'm thinking we play the actual archetype of the hero, right? Uh, if I remember correctly... Inquisition felt like you were like a leader or whatever. I don't know. I don't want to spoil things, but I think this is going to be our best game to be able to play as that anti-hero or villain, so I kind of want to do that here. And let's play a mage. Like kind of I'm kind of thinking we go the lines of like a anti-hero blood mage hero. Um yeah, I don't know how better to explain it without spoiling the game cuz I don't want to spoil the game for people who haven't seen this before. I'm not going to do any spoilers if I can avoid it, um, other than the fact that Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Inquisition obviously are, are games you can play. But yeah, let's go Mage Elf. Greetings. Greetings. Okay, we kind of have options, but not really. Yikes. I think we can work with this, though, if we change some things. I'm thinking young. Not, like, as young as possible, but there. Skin tone, bright, because he's an elf, right? I think bright elves. Elves in my brain have bright skin tones. Um, This is... Oh my god, what are these elves called? Uh, I want to say it's... I almost said Danish elves. No, that's no way that... There's no way that's right. Um, there's a certain type of elf that are like... Out in the wild. I, I don't remember what they're called. We'll find out soon. This is what I'm talking about where my memory is awful. I've played this game three or four times. And the other Dragon Age is once a piece and I still can't remember what the name of the wild elves are. Not the wild elves, the nature elves. You know what I'm talking about. And it's it's not Danish. There's no way it's that. It's D something though. Uh, maybe we go with this. With a less in, lower intensity. Kind of like a grayed out tattoo. So he wasn't he was never a city elf. He was one from the wild, maybe. Um because these are the tattoos that the wild elves have. The city elves don't have them. And he was picked up by the circle. 
which would give us kind of a backstory. We were almost abducted into the circle in that situation, which I kind of like that. Let's go with that. Uh, hair, I do want to darken that if I can. I actually like the hair that it gave us, but maybe we change that. Man, that seems so simple, but it could work. It's just not very elven. If we were playing a human, maybe I'd go with that. Yeah, I kind of like the hair it gave us already, just not a redhead. Is there like a dark brown, maybe? Actually, that blonde kind of looked good, didn't it? But no, let's let's go let's go dark brown if we can. There isn't really one. This is as dark as the brown gets. Let's go black then. Forget it. Let's just go full black. And eyebrows. I'm not going to go that in depth in the character creator. I'm not trying to burn y'all's time on this. Um, Serana's the last name. <coughs> Should have thought of a name before I started this. So my name is Typo on the channel. <laughs> Maybe there's a way we can use that for the hero of Ferelden. We could just do Typo Serana. Maybe not spelled that way though. Like give it that fantasy, that fantasy feel to it. You can't do apostrophes, really? Or spaces. Hmm. That is a stumper, actually. I think the rest of this character looks fine, other than maybe the eyes, eye color. Uh, let's get something piercing, like piercing blue or something. I typically like to have like that piercing eye color if I can get it. A gray, almost? Oh, wait, no, yeah, let's roll with that. I like that. Okay, the rest of this character looks fine. I don't think we need to change him that much. I think he looks good to me. But coming up with a name is going to be difficult, I can already tell. Get a background on this portrait. <laughs> what am I looking at? Yeah, that'll work. Um, I still need to figure out what kind of character he's going to be based on, you know, what kind of dialogue they let me say. But I am thinking will be a, a bit dark. But maybe that works. Maybe. No! It is gone! Ah! My weapon does nothing! Excuse me. How do you do? Damn! Lost the spell! This is not good! <laughs> Greetings. These are elf voices? Well, that didn't work. Well, this is odd. My weapon is useless. Experience sounds pretty good. Greetings. I have lost my concentration. This weapon does nothing. Charmed, I'm sure. It didn't work. This weapon does nothing. <laughs> Greetings. Oh, my spell. My weapon does nothing. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. I like experience. Let's go with that. Uh, and then, man, oh man, coming up with a name and then... We're just about there to get started here. <sighs> Boy. We already know the name of this character in Dragon Age 2, just because everybody has the same character name in Dragon Age 2. They, they kind of tried to go a, a Commander Shepard angle in Dragon Age 2, and then Dragon Age 2 flopped, and so they didn't go with that. But uh, And I kind of know what I want to do in Inquisition. What are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? I should have come up with a name. All right, hold up. Let me go ahead and cut the video here while I think of a name and not waste all y'all's time. I'll be back with a name in a sec. All right, welcome back. So, I was looking up some names um, that canonically are already elven names in Dragon Age. And there were a couple names close to this, but I didn't see any with the actual complete name. Traven, which I thought sounded like Traven Serana had a good ring to it. And so I think we're going to roll with Traven Serana. Yes, sir. Let's do that. Traven Serana. All right. And then obviously we're going to be a mage. So let's pump the magic. Um, we're 
probably going to play a different class every playthrough as well. And by that I mean Origins will be a mage. Maybe in 2 will be a rogue and in Inquisition will be a warrior, but we'll see. I, I'm not going to set our mind on that yet. <clears throat> Determines how effective potions are. I don't remember that, but okay. Let's just pump full magic to start. Oh, we need cunning for persuasion. Wait a minute. <laughs> that, that matters a lot to me, actually. So let's do coercion. I really want to be able to persuade just about anyone. Yeah, able to persuade just about anyone. I love persuading people in these games. So let's do that. And then two points to spend on spells. Okay, so... It's a lot of spells. But I'll tell you what I remember. The primal spells have all the elements, obviously. Uh, I'm a big fan of freezing, as far as I can remember, because it's got really good crowd control. Uh, heal is going to be on every mage I make, so... I'll probably end up taking that, like, right away, but we'll see. The rest of this, I don't really re recall that much. Maybe it's not that good. Maybe it is, and I just missed it last time. Spirits, uh, all I remember is that Crushing Prison is the best ever. And that's my favorite spell in the whole game, probably. It's so disgustingly good. And Force Field is crazy good, too. So, we'll have to get those. And then Entropy, I don't remember much about either. But maybe we'll look at that as well. Okay, with those things in mind, Winter's Grasp would be a good start and heal. Let's go with Winter's Grasp and heal. We have a damage spell and a healing spell. Let's play. We're on normal difficulty, of course. Yep. Um, recommended setting for players familiar with role-playing games, providing a good balance of challenge and survivability. Requires moderate use of tactical pausing to plan actions during combat. Although party members can harm each other with careless use of certain abilities, damage due to friendly fire is only half of what it would be against enemies. That's lenient enough, I suppose. Pretty sure in the other Dragon Age games, normal difficulty has no friendly fire, but, you know, half damage isn't too bad. Alright, let's do it. On a Let's cliff do it. overlooking the dark waters of Lake Kalanhad stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. This gilded cage is the only world you know. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, and abducted you at a young, young age, your probably, family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man, and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinter Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the Dream Realm, the Fade, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fade, and there you will face a demon armed with only your will. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what happens if I cannot defeat the demon? It will turn you into an abomination, and the Templars will be forced to slay you. This so not ideal. Is Lyrium, the very essence of magic, and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you keep your wits about you. And remember, the Fade is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The apprentice must go through this test alone. Already. All right, we are ready. Oh my God, that sound cue that just played. Nostalgia. Soldiers pass. Oh yeah, loot everything, please. 
As you wish. Shimmering orb of light? Do be sure what the scintillating uh, shimmering item really is, but just holding it makes you feel better. User of this orb instantly restores some user's health. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Inventory. Or as I used to call it as a child, inventory. 50 experience. There's gonna be a lot of statues to click on in this game for experience. And man, my sensitivity is high. I'm gonna try to control that a little better. Okay, I more or less know how to play. Boom! Light it up! 69 damage is our first attack? The golden number 69 itself? Lucky dog. Let's get started. Wow, that's awesome. Easy so far. That's how we like to start. Alright, let me start keybinding things, yeah. Uh oh. This Let's go punch it. Enough. See how well we punch. Four. Now yeah, we're good on that. All right, Traven. Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. <laughs> I'll succeed, right or not. Well, you say that now. So have many others before you. Look at me. Look at what can happen. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well... Mouse. <laughs> Not your real name, I take it. No. I don't remember anything from... before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. That's actually messed up. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. Um, I kind of want to get cocky. It's not going to happen to me. Sorry for what happened. Uh, but let's be smart about it. How long do I have exactly? I, I don't remember. I ran away and I hid. I don't know how long. What am I supposed to do? There's something here contained just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your way out. Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fade. Anything could die, I doubt it's as simple as that. Why pit me against such a creature? I don't understand why this test is so feared. Anything could die, I doubt it's as simple as that. You would be a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is Correct. powerful, cunning. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. Maybe help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow, if that's alright. My chance was long ago. But you, you may have a way out. Alright. A dangerous spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. Plot helpers are markers on the current area map that indicate you were to progress. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess that's that, huh? I'm not ready yet. We haven't explored everywhere. I always explore everywhere if I can. Not really completionist so much as I hate missing out on stuff. You'll find a lot of my playthroughs on my channel are, are, air, are runs that I've said 99% complete. Because I'll have done just about everything except for achievement hunting. Winter's grasp is so good. Whew. Another spirit this way. Never okay. Spirit of Valor. Sorry, I missed what he said at the end there. Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill. To be sent unarmed against a demon. Fight each other, we're not warriors. Uh, you know I'm here. I agree, but I didn't have a choice. Indeed. A choice and the vault lies with the mages who sent you here. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. Um, 
He's, well, Valor. What else do you know about the harrowing? Do you create all these weapons? They are brought into being by my will. I understand that in your world, mages are the only ones who can will things into being. Those mortals who cannot must lead such hollow, empty lives. <laughs> uh, will one of these weapons affect the demons? Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. <clears throat> and my will makes that need reality. Do you truly cool desire voice. one of my weapons? I will give one to you. If you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. Willpower, it seems you would prefer to kill me yourself. Ooh. What are the rules of this duel? I have no worry there'd be no match against you. I agree to your duel, Valor. Willpower, it seems like you would prefer to kill me yourself. How dare you accuse me? I am no demon preying upon helpless mortals to steal their essence. I am a being of honor and valor. I am a warrior. Then prove it. Help me fight the demon. So you challenge helpless mortals to duels? <laughs> you are insolent. <clears throat> but your will is unquestionably strong. Very well, mortal. You prove to me that you possess the strength to resist this demon. Nice. Go. Prove your worth as you must. I am confident you will succeed. Let's go. Items received. Valor's staff. So now we have a staff. Good. I should really put that on our bar, huh? Those are like heels, right? Blood dragon plate. <laughs> That's a DLC plate armor. Well, that is not something we need right now, but very cool that we have it. Six defense and 30 health. Oof. Uh, Alright. Quest updated. There shouldn't be much area left. Looking like it's coming to an end here. But never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Just kidding. Move and perish, strike and Move and perish, strike and kill. Wow, we're not messing around. Okay, another one behind us. Is this our experience bar again? It is. Yo, we're halfway to level two. Show off. We're crushing this. Be cautious. 85 health. There is another spirit here. Not okay. the one hunting you. Is this the whole map? Wow, that is actually like the whole map. I knew there wasn't much left, but that was... That is small. Sloth Demon. My favorite of the seven sins. <laughs> so, you are the mortal being hunted. And the small one, is he to be a snack for me? I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. No matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. Um, why wait for scraps? Come get some now. Uh, what do you know about this demon? <laughs> I love that. What do you know about this demon? What kind of spirit are you? What do you know about this demon? <laughs> I know that you will fail your test. And he will eat you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. I need help defeating the demon. You have a very nice staff. Why would you need me? Go. Use your weapon since you have earned it. Be valorous. Hmm. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, little one, might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. Okay. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? 
<laughs> That's funny. Uh, hiding doesn't solve anything. You need to face our fears. You can help me fight the demon. I thought you were here to help, but you're just a coward. You can help me fight the demon. It's true. I am quite powerful in this form. When I wish to be. I welcome the opportunity, if it is my choice. The mages in the tower are quick to volunteer others, as you well know. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear, if you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. <laughs> Mouse wants to learn, teach him. You can't just suggest something and then change your mind. Why are you called Sloth? What are you? We might as well ask that. I am a spirit of sloth. Yes, a creature of the Fade. Unlike yourself, mortals are ever the visitors here. Still, you serve your function. Only the mortals like yourself are truly annoying. Okay. I don't appreciate being called annoying. Are you talking about dreamers? Mortals like myself. Are you talking about dreamers? Many mortals dream. They come here often. But you are not one of those. You are aware. A mortal with power and will. The sort of creature that some spirits hunger for. I might be inclined for such a meal myself. It would be interesting to see the mortal world through your eyes, live inside your form. But I am disinclined to begin such a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky me, just try it so you're a demon. Lucky me. <laughs> so, when they eat you, quote-unquote, they're taking your body in the real world. Indeed. Now, what do you want with me? Uh, please teach Mouse to be a bear. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly. And I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Oh, uh, devour. So we might have to fight him, but I accept your challenge. Keep some house the bear form, or I will kill you. I accept your challenge, sloth. I'm good at riddles. I like riddles and puzzles. Oh, well, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts Map. with no sand, farms <laughs> without people, and mountains without land. As soon as you said s What am I? That was the easiest thing I've ever heard in my life. A map. Mm. <laughs> Correct. Let's move on. The second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. Uh, that one's a that one's less obvious. A handle, my tongue. That makes sense. My temper, my breath. My breath. Often held. What? No. Intelligence. It's got to be my tongue. My yes, tongue. Yes, your witty tongue. Uh, fair enough. Uh, one more try, shall we? Often All right. will I spin the tail. Never will I charge a fee. I'll amuse you an entire eve. A dream. But, alas. Nightmare. You won't remember me. Dream or nightmare? What am I? An annoying riddler? <laughs> a liar? Are you music? A book? A spider? A dream? A dream. You are correct. Rather apropos here in the fade. Let's go. But you've won my challenge and proven yourself an amusing distraction. So... I shall teach you my form. Now, listen carefully. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels... heavy. Hmm. Feels heavy. Close enough. Go then, and uh, defeat your demon, or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. Okay. Friendly fire. Yeah, we, we read about that. Controlling party members is just clicking on them. Okay. So Mouse has 100 health now, and he can actually help me fight. I guess we're ready, because I don't see anywhere else on the map to go. So I guess we'll just go confront our demon, then. 
Let's do this thing. Critters. Okay, we've got like respawning enemies more or less. There's a there's like a searchable thing up there. Okay. Oh, Mouse is taking hits like a champ. He was still over half health after getting hit by all those wolves for so long. Base of healing. Three more shimmering orbs of light. That's big. And a twisted structure is 50 more experience. We almost missed that. I need to be more aware. Um, I think holding tab lets you see all the targetable things, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It's definitely lighting us up. Okay, we are right there. Like, level 2 is like almost here. And I want to say... Okay, Lyrium Bane. That's probably either to heal us or refill our magic. Or both. Okay. Saving game, thank you. Rage. Okay, conversation, I guess. Rage Demon. And so it comes to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine. Body and soul. It's two against one. You really want to fight us both? If I lose the Templars, will still cut you down. Then come and get me if you can. Oh, I shall. So this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly, the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now, and soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. Let's light him up, mouse. Winner's grasp. Boom. I hit him good. Oh, there's wraiths around. Okay. Got it. Alright, uh, bear, mouse, whatever you want to call yourself. You work on him. Wow, we are we are getting lit up, aren't we? Wait. Woo! Okay, it was a bit of both, okay. Another winner's grasp. Okay, ow, heal. Oh my god, we're taking so much damage. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, Whisperates. I'm, I'm pausing a lot because I'm like, I'm stressed about our, our, about our health. Okay. So far, decent. Oh, that, that level up healed us and gave us full magic? That is so sick. Alright, this thing is basically dead, right? We can move on to this thing then. You did or it. not? You actually did it. When you came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to, but I never really thought any of you were worthy. Uh, it's all a little too easy. The ones you betrayed before me—what were their names? Sounds like your help was unusual. Why? It's all a little too easy. That is because you are a true mage, one of the few. The others—they never had a chance. The Templars set them up to fail, like they tried with you. I regret my part in it. But you have shown me that there is hope. You can be so much more than you know. So what is it you think you can get from me? Anything to survive, like an animal, or worse. I understand necessity. What now? You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. <laughs> That's not the most suspicious thing I've ever heard in my life. I'm starting to think the other demon wasn't my test. Yeah, exactly. Let you in. I'll find mages away from the Templars. We'll get you out. Not my problem, Mouse. <laughs> I'm starting to think the other demon wasn't my test. What? What are you... Of course it was. 
the other demon. That could harm an apprentice of your potential. <laughs> you are a smart one. Simple killing is a warrior's job. Oh. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. Pride. Oh, man. A pride Keep demon. Wits about you, mage. True tests never end. Oh, that's so sick. I know what those look like from. Um... Man, I don't remember what game I remember that from, but I remember what they look like. Say something, please. Jowen. Uh, a demon. <laughs> Die, demon. Where am I? Is this the fade? Jowen. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. They carried you in this morning. I didn't even realize you'd been gone all night. I've heard about apprentices who never come back from harrowings. Is it really that dangerous? What was it like? Uh, we're friends, but don't ask us. You know, I can't tell you. It was harrowing. It was a test of ability, that's all. Stop pestering me, John. It's a test of ability. That's true. There must be something more, or they'd tell the apprentices what's involved. I know I'm not supposed to know, but we're friends. Just a little hint, and I'll stop asking, I promise. I really shouldn't. I had to enter the Fade. Patience, you'll go through it soon enough. Had to enter the Fade. Really? That's it? Um... And if a demon possesses you, they kill you. That's fair. Let's keep this on the down low, Jow, and I've, I probably should have thought more about this before I just told you these things. That makes sense. They want to see if you can resist a demon and stop yourself from becoming an abomination. And now you get to move to the nice mage's quarters upstairs. I'm stuck here and I don't know when they'll call me for my harrowing. Uh, they'll summon you to the test when you're ready. Any day now, probably. Don't worry so much about it. I passed my test, that's all I care about. They'll summon you when you're ready. I've been here longer <clears throat> than you have. Sometimes I think they just don't want to test me. Nah, I'm just built different. <laughs> Maybe you're just not ready yet. Uh, doesn't everyone go through a harrowing? What are you talking about? You're just paranoid. Doesn't everyone go through a harrowing? Like, he's making it sound like he won't even get a chance. The Tranquil never go through a harrowing. You do the harrowing, the rite of tranquility, or you die. That's what happens. Um... You worry too much, it's annoying. The rite of tranquility makes you tranquil, which takes away all your emotions and your ability to dream. I remember that. Which is crazy, by the way, to lose all your emotions and your ability to dream. Why even live at that point? They're not going to kill you, Jowen. What does this have to do with you? If they do <clears throat> call apprentices to the harrowing, it probably means tranquility. You've seen the tranquil around the tower, like a Wayne who runs the stock room. He's so cold. No, not even cold. There's just nothing in him. It's like he's dead but still walking. His voice, his eyes are lifeless. Um, I think you're reading too much into it. I shouldn't waste your time with this. I was supposed to tell you to see Irving as soon as you woke up. <laughs> what for? Where is he? I should go talk to him immediately. You better not keep him waiting. We can speak later. Do you hear anything? Is he alright? Thank you, John. Why do you care? Are you best friends now? I'm just curious. That Templar Cullen said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. He must be so talented. Someone sounds jealous. Hey. I just know I'll be terrified when my time comes. Like Wendell was. He throw up every day for the next week just thinking about it. Oh yeah, we're gifted. Let's, let's be that, like, cocky, overconfident, anti-villain mage. That sounds fun to me. We'll see how it plays out, but so far, that's what it feels like. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and loot all of this. Right. Let's loot the whole place. I don't know what blank vellums are for. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Yeah, let's go ahead and loot all this place and find... Let's get started. The Archmage? Is that what they called him? Oh my god, I don't remember what they called him. Lyrium Dust. Small amount of mana, only spellcasters benefit from Lyrium Dust. 
Ready to be incorporated into potions. Okay, let's hold on to that. Someone's always watching. That's the tower entrance. Templar and Templar Bran? Yes, is there something you need? <laughs> That's a big door. It is. Do you need something or are you just here to state the obvious? Is this, uh, what's out there? Elden, it's not very interesting. Mostly farms, the occasional river. Is this the only way out of the tower? The only safe one, as far as I know. There are windows on the higher levels, but surely you don't need me to warn you of the dangers of leaping from them. It never ends well. <laughs> Can I leave? No, you may not. I'm surprised you ask. I would have thought you'd be used to this idea by now. All right, I'll get going. Fortune on you. Uh, can I ask yes, why is can't there I leave? Something you need. Uh. No, can I leave? Not. I'm surprised. I would have thought you'd be used to this idea. Why can't I leave? Only mages on official circle business are allowed to leave the tower, and the first enchanter has not informed us of any mages leaving the tower today. All right. Make a smile fortune on you. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So. Let's hit level 2, loot the area, find our guy and all that good stuff next time. And this is where we'll pick up. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. But either way, thank you so much for joining Traven and myself on this journey in Dragon Age Origins. And I hope you join me on all of this, this giant Dragon Age journey of mine. If you've made it this far, then I thank you for watching, you know, at least one with me. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I love this game, and I know a lot of other people love this game too. I, I just know it. It's just such a good game, and I can't wait to play more. I'll see all of you next time.